So it does need to stop and it does stop. We have another car coming. It is creepy and I'm gonna go ahead and take over. Okay, so what we're looking at here is software update 2023.7.10, and this is FSD beta version 11.4.2. Like most of the FSD beta updates, it gets a lot of information. So I'm going to just scroll through the information so you can pause the screen and then you can um, read it all if you want to. This is a 2018 Model 3 that I'm sitting in right now, but you can notice here that this is vehicle is running on Tesla Visions. That happened uh, several updates ago. So here is the V11.4.2, improved control through turns. And I'm just gonna pause it here for a second, or you can pause the video here, and that way you can read everything. That looks about it for that. And so this is not new. The FSD beta suspension, basically, if you're not paying attention, you get a slap on the wrist, approximately one week. And this allowing you to make the visualization full screen, that is not new either. And this is just telling us that they are using the cabin camera. So that is it for this update. So there are a lot of improvements here, but I think the best way to test the new FSD beta version is to take it out on a test drive. Now I did release a video earlier today where I tested FSD beta in the rain. I didn't know this update was coming, obviously. That is the previous beta. So I'm gonna try and do that same route and see what happens. Okay, here we go. We have about an eight minute drive set here. Autopilot FSD is engaged, the FSD beta. This is the newest version here. We're making this left turn. It did fail here last time. We don't have the same cross traffic. It is being a little bit more cautious. It is clear, so I do not have to disengage like my last video. A little bit jerky there in the middle of the intersection, but other than that, it was able to get us through. So I'm trying on a new camera angle. You can't see my hands, but they are on the wheel. And that is because you guys get a better view of the center display. You can still see out the front windshield um, and you should be able to see on the center display if there's you know, other cars in my view. Let me know if you guys like this newer view or if you like going back out to this zoomed out view. If you prefer this view, let me know down in the comment section below, um, or if you prefer the new zoomed in view, let me know. I guess whichever view gets the most comments, the zoomed in or the zoomed out, that's the one I'll stick with for the next uh, few videos. Beautiful left turn into the left lane, like we saw in the old software update. Do have to make a right here in about a half mile. The right lane is currently clear, as you guys can see on the center display. It does choose to make the right turn or change lanes into the right turn lane. We do have some stop traffic ahead. That's why it's heavily braking. So we are making a right turn, so we're going to follow this car. So we can continue on, no traffic, and it does assert itself right into the correct lane. So beautiful job done there. Now we want to stay in this lane, and then at the next traffic light, we're going to turn right. That's about a half mile. So I'm slowing down here because the car in front of us is slowing. Plenty of room for it to get over. And it does get over. Now we're turning right here at this light. It is going to come to a stop. So we should be able to turn right now and it does do a beautiful right on red. Excellent job.
Now we are making a left turn at this traffic light right here. So it is stopping pretty hard back here. I would like to see it kind of go a little bit faster. We do have a green arrow still, and it is gonna make this left turn and done very smoothly. Excellent job. Another left turn coming up. We're gonna be following this car that's in front of us. Slowing down significantly here before making a lane change. Plenty of time to make this left turn and very smooth left turn into the correct lane. Great job. It's a little bit tricky here because of a bike lane and a turn lane, but the FSD beta does pick the correct lane. Now we have a roundabout, which we're gonna be taking. It looks like the navigation is saying the second exit. So we'll see how it does in this roundabout here. It does need to stop and it does stop. We have another car coming. It is creepy and I'm gonna go ahead and take over. That guy decided to honk at us. Re-engaging now, creeping for visibility. So decided to creep out um, a little bit too much. If we put this in slow-mo, you can see that the car in the intersection, which we are yielding to, turns blue right here. That's why the car stops. Then we can see the gray car behind the car that's currently blue, but then the FSD beta starts to go. But briefly, the car coming that ends up honking at us does turn blue for a brief moment, but I do act a little bit quicker and put my foot on the brake. I mean, it is creepy, and I'm going to go ahead and take over. It's very possible that I could have intervened a little bit too soon, especially with this new software update. You can understand why I'm a bit more cautious, especially with this roundabout. And for me as a driver, I had to make a split second decision, which now that I'm looking at it in frame by frame and slow-mo might not have been the right one because it looks like the FSD beta did see that guy coming around the roundabout. But it is swooping around. So that is very similar to the last update. So. Again, make sure you guys pay attention when you are testing this. For some reason, it's stopping back here when the stop sign is up there. It's waiting, creeping for visibility. It really needs to stop up there versus all the way back there. So it is gonna stop again here, thankfully. And now we are in the parking lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take over. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, see you in the next one.